Hi, the purpose of this exercise, this practice is, is to practice using our calculator, in this case the TI-84 calculator, to convert from grams to moles and from moles to grams for your chemistry class. Uh, we're going to start here with the number of moles and 64.1 grams of aluminum. So our plan of attack is going to be to always, we always start off by writing down what we know first. So we're going to go ahead and write down that we have um, 64.1, we're going to write 64.1 grams of aluminum, and we need to convert that to moles. And so what we do is we go to the periodic table, and there's a little trick here that's helpful is to say, okay, this number here that's written on the bottom, this um, that is the, uh, you're looking at the molecular weight right here, this bottom number, and that's always in units of AMUs, but it's also in units of grams per mole, is something that you, uh, that, that is really helpful for this to understand, it evades many students. So 26.981, let's say we just need to write down more than we have um, significant figures in our problem. So 26.981 for aluminum is grams per mole, and that will help us a lot to get this problem done. So we're gonna say, we only need three, so we're gonna say 26.98, we'll just do one more just to make sure we've got enough significant figures. We're gonna say times, and the trick is that we have, the, the molecular weight is 26.98 grams per mole are the units that we're gonna use. We wanna put the grams on the bottom because then they cancel the grams on the top in the numerator over here. So we're gonna say 26.98 grams of aluminum per one mole of aluminum. And that's how we get our, our answer. So we're gonna say 64.1 divided by uh, 26.98. And so we're gonna go over here and say, um, let's get our calculator. And we're gonna go 64.1, 64.1 divided by 26.98. Enter, and that gives us 2.375, uh, and that's that's our units here. So we're gonna say 20, uh, 2.375, we'll, we only get three significant figures. So we're gonna call it 2.38 moles of aluminum. So I'm gonna say uh, 2.38 moles of aluminum. And so that, that's moles because the grams here cancel there. That's how we know we got the right answer. Hi, right, so this one's a little bit different. I've, I've set it up to save us a little bit of time. We're gonna be doing this backwards. We're starting with the moles, we wanna get the grams, and we're gonna get our mole the atomic weight of sodium this time a little bit differently. Now we've written this way so the grams are on the top and moles are on the bottom. And last time, if you remember, I showed you how to get the, by going to, I went to ptable.com and used a periodic table to get this information. But if you have a TI, uh, calculator, you can, and you have the science tools installed. I have another video that explains how to install the tie, the science tools if they aren't, if they don't come installed on your calculator. And here's how you do it. So you would go to apps here, you go down to number six, mine at six, it would be, might be different in yours, uh, which is the periodic table. And this little screen comes up, you'll have to press any key to enter the periodic table. If you know where sodium is, you can drive to it if you just have some idea, or you can click list, which is in this case the third button over. You can, here's sodium right here. You see how it's in this list. You can go down to sodium and you hit enter. And here's the atomic weight of sodium there. And you, you can click set, which is aligned with this key, and that'll send it to your, your keyboard. I'm going second function quit to get back to the main page. I'm saying enter. And then if I look at my problem, I wanna go with 1.22 times that value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just type uh, 1.22 in my calculator times, and then I'm gonna go up arrow to highlight this value. Hit enter, and hit enter again. My answer is 28.04, blah, 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 blah. And how many significant figures do I need? I need in this problem three. So I'll go one, two, three, 28.0, and I, and I write, um, I can write the value 28.04 here. So that's gonna be um, 28.04 if your teacher needs to see your work. 0.04 equals, and then the answer is, oops, sorry, it's not, that's not the answer. That is 
the molecular weight is 28.98, so I'll put in um, my bad. So it is from the periodic table, I'm oh, sorry, 22.98. So we'll just write in um, 22.98. Sorry, the values were too similar for me. Grams per mole, and the answer is 28.0 grams per mole. And we'll do a couple more just with a little bit of uh, scientific notation in them to help you understand a little better. This one reads a number of moles and 2.55 times 10 to the negative first grams of sulfur. So let's go down here and we're gonna write in um, 2.55 times 10 to the negative first grams of sulfur. And we wanna convert that to moles of sulfur. So we'll say whatever we do, we're putting grams on the bottom and we're gonna put moles on the top. And so I'm not gonna fill out these problems all the way. I'm just gonna set up how to do the problem. I'm gonna do the rest of it just entirely in our calculator. So we're gonna type in 2.55 times 10 to the minus first. And so here we go, 2.55. And this time we're gonna write scientific notation and, and that's intentional. So I'm writing 2.55 second function double E, not minus, but negative one. And that's how we write that value. And then we're gonna multiply that, or sorry, divide that by the molecular weight. So I'm gonna type divided by, and um, I would put the molecular weight in here, but I know how that this thing works, and I'll show you in a moment. It will, uh, it will delete this when we go into that other app. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, delete this, and then push enter. There, it's 0.255, we'll have to remember that. We're gonna go to apps, and we're looking up sulfur, put another periodic table. We're gonna click any button. We're gonna go over to sulfur, which is gonna be, well, we'll get the list, it's a little easier now. To the list, we're gonna go find sulfur on this list. It's gonna read around 32. And so we go up to sulfur, where did I put it? Right up here, I scooted way past it. So here's sulfur. And we go right down here to get its atomic weight. We like it weight. We click set. That should make it appear in our stack here. So we're going to put that, and we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to enter that, and then we're going to say um, this value here. Enter, and then we're going to say divided by this value. Enter, and we're going to enter again, and we get the answer of uh, seven point nine five. Um, times 10 to the minus three. And if you wanna see that value in scientific notation, you go to mode, you click this over to scientific, you let it float to however many it thinks is the best number of um, significant figures. Then you go second function quit. And you say immediately you think you are, you're ripped off because it's, this is not in scientific notation, but you can click enter and it comes out as 7.95 times 10 to the minus three and then you just write that value here, write it like this, which is um, 7.95 times 10 to the minus three, and the answer is moles of sulfur. And we'll do one last one just to bring this one home. It's gonna be number of grams in 9.37 times 10 to the minus three moles of magnesium. It's the other way around. I'm gonna write 9.37 times 10 to the minus three moles of magnesium. And we're gonna multiply that by the grams per mole of magnesium. And we're gonna do the same thing, getting the values of the cal from our calculator. And this, by the way, was 32 grams per mole here. So we're gonna look up the value for magnesium. The answer should be 0.228. And again, we'll write that in scientific notation. So. Let's find magnesium, and actually we'll start with our, our value again, 9.37 times 10 to the minus three. So I'm gonna type uh, 9.37, second function, double E, minus three, enter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and look up magnesium, and go to six, and say here, I'm gonna go to list, and magnesium is 
way down here probably. There it is. Hold on, slow down, I went past it. Whoops, we're gonna say magnesium. We go enter, go down to 24. We say set here. That sends it back to the, the page again. And so we have that value entered as well. And now we're look at this, we have, we wanna go multiply, so 9.37 times. So now we say up, up to this. We say enter times, enter. There you go, the answer is gonna be 2.27 times 10 to the minus one. So 2.28, because we have three significant figures. So 0 0.228 grams of magnesium is the answer. So there's some practice and we'll do a, a little bit more.